68 members in this delegation, 45 are athletes. And Illinois, by the way, will host the 50th anniversary of Special Olympics celebrations later this month, featuring two main events. From July 17th to the 21st is the first Special Olympics Unified Cup soccer tournament, which will consist of 24 teams made up of players with and without intellectual disabilities. 18 countries will vie for the inaugural men's and women's titles. The finals will air on ESPN2. And then July 21st is the Global Day of Inclusion, marking the 50th anniversary of the first Special Olympics. The event will take place at Soldier Field. Well, we saw that back in 1968. And those games featured roughly 1,000 athletes, all from the US. And now we got 4.9 million athletes from more than 172 countries, Holly. I feel like you buried the lead there. Chance the Rapper, <laughs> Chance the Rapper is participating in free concert, or in a concert, it's not free, for, to raise money for the Special Olympics and celebrate that anniversary. So Chance the Rapper, who is doing so much good work in the community of Chicago, and is lending his name and his talent to Special Olympics. Um, he is a young man that just has my heart. So Chance the Rapper concert. I was saving the best for last. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. I will never doubt you again. I like that. Usher's going to be there. It's going to be a big concert. That's great. So it's, it's worth it. With three weeks away. I want to let you guys know, too, that we have 2,200 athletes here. And how about this? Roughly 15,000 volunteers are at these games. And let's not forget that. This is not just the celebration, as we will, rightfully, on the athletes. It's the families. It's the coaches giving their time. And, and the 4,000 seats that you're going to see during this event on the football field at Husky Stadium, it's going to be filled with the delegation, the athletes, many of the coaches who volunteer and give their time on a day-to-day -day basis to provide consistency for these Special Olympic athletes. And that is so critical and important, Holly. Well, the coaches have to take time off work. They pay their way to get here. Their investment in the love of helping these athletes is everything. And that's what Special Olympics is about, is where you can give, you give. And that's what these coaches are doing. Perfect timing, too, by Mother Nature with the sun coming out. It is gorgeous here. Beautiful day in Seattle. You know, they have got 14 different sports going on this whole week. 